Students at IU and Purdue University are now facing suspensions for hosting large parties off campus in the midst of this pandemic. Those parties violating the school's coronavirus restrictions. And now university administrators say this behavior will not be tolerated. Thanks for joining us. A lot to get to tonight at 10. I'm Dan Spieler. And I'm Fanchon Stinger. So glad you're with us. This is just one of our top stories tonight. The universities are now threatening to move all learning online. Fox 59's Brett Cass is talking with students and faculty tonight about whether these punishments will bring those parties to a stop. Brett. Yeah, Fanchon, classes haven't even started yet, and already videos and pictures of these parties have been all over social media. In-person classes at both schools are supposed to start on Monday, and students hope that still happens. Just days after arriving back on campus, videos of large parties at IU spread on social media. I'm not surprised. This is one of the top party schools. We should have seen it coming. In response, IU is in the process of suspending the students involved for violating school and county restrictions amid COVID-19. With this one that was reported widely last night on social media, we felt like it was time to really make clear that this is not something that is going to be tolerated. Purdue University also cracking down on parties, suspending 36 students for a party at Circle Pines Co-op, also for violating school policy on COVID-19. A global pandemic make changes everything. Uh, the students, our, our new students and our returning students are um, coming back to a semester that they've never ever experienced. Today, I use President Michael McRobbie sent an email to students threatening an all virtual semester if the parties continue, ending with a challenge saying, quote, they think it is inevitable. Prove them wrong. No, I don't think they'll stop. Meanwhile, some students aren't so sure the threat will work, hoping a select few don't get everyone sent home. If you're going to disrupt our entire semester, yeah, don't, don't throw parties and have nobody wearing masks and drinking from like the same cups at parties playing pong. It's probably not the best thing to do. And both IU and Purdue say the suspended students would first have a conduct hearing before the outcome is final. Here in the newsroom, I'm Brett Cast, Fox 59 News.